Hello, today we're going to take a look at the Marco, the Framers pricing tool. You may be wondering what is Marco. Well, Marco is a standalone pricing software. It's designed exclusively for professional picture framers and you enter the art size and the software calculates the frame lengths and all the materials required for the uh, for framing your piece of art. And um, who can use Marco? Well, basically anyone that has a need of uh, calculating the framing cost, keeping track of retail sales and framing materials. Anyone like a professional picture framers or photographers or art galleries. Marco can improve the productivity of your business by computing the materials that you need, by tracking the progress of the orders, by listing the required materials for each order so you can order your materials and report sales and trends and inventory so let's take a look at the software now this is the window that you're gonna see when you start Marco for the first time and here on the top of the area in this part here this is where you enter the customer information let's pretend someone comes to your store and he has a uh, phone number 222 and then you enter his name and if he has an email you can enter an email and if he refers you by someone you can enter here the refer you can enter his address as well but let's skip that one and, and just go here to the refer Re and as you start entering information he will this is gonna start growing so like if he knows if he knows uh, someone referred by a friend so you can uh, type here by a friend you enter the customer and now you are ready to do the quote for him so uh, you enter the description of the art that he brings for framing let's pretend that he brings a fruit basket and it is let's say let's do a canvas which is the easiest one I guess and the art dimensions is going to be a 12 inches by 16 inches we don't need a mirror a glass and how long is going to take us to to frame let's say one hour and a half the mat openings we are not need a mat so we are not going to enter anything in there just one any comments that you want to type like scratchers or, or anything that you notice on the art of the customer and if, if the customer is bringing a ready-made frame you can select it here and by selecting here you enter the ready-made frame and it will kind of um, calculate the if in case that you need some mat or something it will calculate but in this case let's just go into a straight frame let's pretend that this customer wants the frame we can select any of these frames that are the like a just um, these frames in here is just a default default um, frames um, like uh, the Marco comes with but you can add uh, remove or edit them or change them or you can do anything you want add more items in here under configure and products and prices groups you can uh, enter more information there is um, a video exclusively for that and mats same thing but we are not going to enter a mat now we need a stretcher bar and the stretcher bar we're just gonna select is that stretcher bar so we because it's a canvas so we need a stretcher bar and we need a frame so that's that's it and in here other is just for again you can add more items in here as you want or remove items uh, if he wants a big groove if you want to add packing materials um, packing materials mat openings extra stuff you can select them here uh, or if he wants to buy a mat by itself or mirror or any other item you may be able to select it here but for now it just keeps things simple we're just gonna do this code so by pressing here it will bring us the code and this first line in here 18.5 is the cost of the materials to to stretch it like it will be your staples your tape around and screws and anything that you need for 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 a canvas 
and um, support bars or anything you extra you need and uh, in here is the frame this is the um, 12 1 8 by 16 1 8 as you can notice the frame is 1 8 bigger than you are so it, you can fit on it the next one is the stretcher bar which is the right same size for the stretcher bar and your fitting so one hour and a half is 54 dollars for fitting any comments you work made right in here you put it in here and if you want um, uh, to give a discount you can click on one item right click and apply discount by an amount actually let's go this way so you can see it by an amount or by a percent so you can just enter here and apply a discount or if you want to apply a discount for the whole order you can do it in here in this um, section in here same thing by a discount or apply discount by by a percent or by an amount so um, that's, that's um, how that worked um, let's bring those codes back again the code in here actually it tells you what's your profit in a secret code and uh, by looking at these letters in here you can see every letter is some number and you can see what's your your profit so you can apply discounts to the to the items if you have a piece of art that is actually a pain to do it this button in here is we call it the pain button when you click it once you see these boxes showing up on the side of the items when you put a check mark on the item and you hide it or you can leave it on but more likely you want to hide it so you no anything is showing up you see here the frame is 66 dollars now because we when we have a check mark in the frame we can see here when we do we do a quote it's going to go up by 20 percent more so um now it's 79.20 so that way you can increase your prices as you see as the art it gets difficult you can also do that uh, through that but normally you can just keep it with no uh, check mark if you do a quote again let me remove the it's gonna go back to 66 so okay let's pretend the customer is happy and he wants to go ahead with the order and he wants to give you a deposit of hundred dollars so we process the order and once it's been processed we say okay we are now here on the invoice automatically automatically we were here before on the frame builder and now automatically went into this tab in here which is called invoices and this invoice number two is a to-do is in the status so we have to do it if we click on the order status in here everything that you add if I add another another order is gonna be listed underneath here and another order underneath underneath so if this list it will grow up all the way down as the to-do list and once we set this um, uh, we start ordering stuff like there's different processes in here uh, you you decide what you want them but this is what uh, we have seen that works the best like uh, when you first make an order it will be tagged as to do then the next time when you order material you tag it as a materials order then when you receive the materials for that specific order then you can say materials received and once you start working on that order you can tag it as a in progress once you finished we can put it as a complete and or you can say complete and email the customer you can select any of these two or you can if the customer comes over and picks them picks the art up so he, you can select number seven and that's when the order goes away from your store so um, that's how how you can keep track of your orders so before we change the um, the uh, status of this order let's see what we need to order like right now we only have what's what this single one so we can click in here and we are going to be able to see that invoice number two needs this frame and this stretcher bar so by selecting this and right clicking you can copy the text and go into your email and paste it on there and send it to the to the to, to your um, supplier and saying well i need this frame and this this um, stretcher bar 
uh, okay let's assume we already uh, went into our supplier and told them what we need so we can change this at materials have been ordered so we are going to change the status of this specific order as a status as a material has been ordered so this appears from this list and it will appear in here and that's the way it works so uh, it, it will be moving all the way from materials order to materials received in progress until you complete it and until the customer comes and pick it up so right now let's assume like uh, we did all these steps and then just go into a complete so when you we go into complete we're gonna see that order and we have another one in here so now we have these two orders complete and we can go into the invoices say uh, the customer we send him an email and uh, he comes and tries to finish his payment you can double click in the amount pay and uh, he total amount paid is the total amount of what he's paying you so if he comes and pays you 736 that's all his um, because he owns you 736 in here so he pays the total amount you just enter that amount and you save changes and that's that's already uh, as a paid every transition that you do here it's uh, on their uh, totals transitions everything that you start moving you will see like say for example like that this is it was invoice number two he give you a hundred dollars deposit and then he paid you 736 and everything is recorded in here and what status it was and all that but anyways let's go back to invoices and um, yeah so I think that's that's all I can tell you about this so um, um, yeah you can print your invoice and there is way more of that but but for now that's that's um, that's it I hope that that helps you if you need more information about Marco you can email us at support at new dash mkt dot com or you can visit our website at new mkt.com Marco thank you